I've been really focused lately on mastery learning. I think the mastery learning is really the key uh, where students don't move on until they've mastered the content. And I think that that needs to be our next revolution in education is mastery learning. Uh, flipped does allow for it because it allows it to happen because so if a student, so in, in my classroom where I'm sitting right now, my students uh, are not all in the same piece of curriculum. They have to move at a reasonable pace, but some students are more advanced and they keep moving on and some students are further behind and they are staying. And, and there's, so there's this, this sequence, they follow a sequence and when they get to the end of uh, some content then they master content and then they, they demonstrate and they prove to me that they've mastered it. You know, I've got a list right here on this piece of paper. Here, I'll, let me cover the names up. You know, on this sheet of paper right here, I am keeping track of which students need what things to master. And I know who needs to do what so that they can master the next piece of content. And actually, as, as we speak here, our term is ending at the end of this week. So tomorrow, actually. And I am, you know, it's sort of the last ditch effort by my students who have not mastered all the content to get it mastered before we take a final exam next week. And I think the mastery model is the most exciting thing that can happen. And I, I've been really moved by the work of Ben Bloom and Ben Bloom in 1984 talked about what he called the double sigma effect and where he, he proved that if you have mastery with sort of one-on-one -on -one tutoring, you get two standard deviations improvement. And, I, and he challenged the world to find something that would work. And I do believe the answer to that is uh, flip learning.